Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Joel. I am now a third semester nursing student at Imperial Valley College. And for today's video, it's gonna be four ways on how to cope with stress while being in nursing school. Now, I haven't posted anything for about like two, three weeks now. I'm so sorry, but yeah, finals were a really big deal, at least for me. And yeah, I really had to be studying and also be working as a tutor. So I really couldn't balance everything out. So I had to give out a little of my YouTube time. But now since I'm free, and I'm now in third semester. Um, now I can, you know, pretty much go on with my videos. Uh, but I wanted to focus first on stress because I did write down on my agenda right there what I was doing and what was helping me cope with stress, especially during finals week. So finals week is like the peak of stress for every nursing student. So the four things that I, that I did were practicing stoicism, exercising, having an agenda, and rewarding myself after studying. So you just wanted to be here and just to get the four the four things I do, um, they are right there. And now I'm gonna be taking like a minute or two to explain how I practice each of them. Now, with practicing stoicism, this is pretty much having the mentality of, you know, self-control and I don't know, like stoicism has helped me a lot because, you know, it, it pretty much gives me self-control whenever I feel stress. So, Practicing stoicism is pretty much like having the emotions you want to have. So for me at least, it's, you know, as I know I'm doing my best, which is studying, and I'm focusing and I'm doing everything I can, you know, all these stress things come into my mind because, oh my God, finals and whatever. But I pretty much like just cancel all of them out and I just pretty much try to justify myself. Like, you know, I'm actually doing my best and I'm kind of like controlling myself with my emotions. And that really has helped me a lot. So stoicism is really, really good on pretty much self-control because if I didn't have that, then a lot of my time would be wasted because I would be like stressed or I'll be anxious and you know, I'll be everywhere. So I wouldn't be a hundred percent of my studying. So stoicism has really helped me to, you know, you know, just like canceling all those things that don't really um, help me. All those like stressful things and emotions is like, no, just cancel all of them out and just letting the positives in. And I would justify myself by what I was doing. So like, oh, I'm studying, I am doing this, I am canceling now a little bit of my YouTube time so I can focus more on studying. So, you know, having all those type of justifications is one of the things that helped me. Now, second one is exercise. Now, when it was actual finals week, I only exercised probably um, out of like the five days of the week, I probably only exercised three times because on two of them, like, it actually interfered with my um, gym time, and then I had to work, so th those were, like, two days that I really couldn't go to, to the gym. Um, but yeah, like, other than that, on the previous weeks, I would exercise, 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 even though I wasn't, I didn't feel like it, or in my mind, I had, like, oh, no, like, you know, we need to be studying and studying, you know, it's like, no, like, I would just convince myself, like, well, you're not actually gonna be studying, for eight hours a day. You know, you're gonna be lagging, you're maybe gonna be like, you know, roaming around and things like that. So we can right now exercise and we could be 100% again, you know, de-stress and everything and, you know, talk to your friends that you encounter in the gym or, you know, just relax. And then after you're done, you shower, you eat, and then you're, you're ready again. But the thing that I would do is that I would study in the mornings around two to three hours and then I would go to the gym. And then when I will be back, I will study for another two or three hours. So then that would be like six hours of studying in one day. So that was actually pretty good. And actually exercise did really help me a lot. It helped me to focus better, but I think you guys already know that. Um, now that's the second thing. The third thing is having an agenda. So having this agenda has been amazing because here I can see, I can literally see everything I need to do. And then once I'm doing all those things, I can put little check marks on those things. And that really helps me in my stress because I'm seeing that I'm getting a lot of progress done. So you being able to see what you're doing and see the tasks that you need to do is really gonna help you with the stress level that you have because you're seeing the progress and that's a really big deal. So definitely have an agenda. Now the fourth thing is rewarding myself after studying. So in my case, I will go for a Starbucks or maybe a little snack from Starbucks or whatever because I wanted to collect stars because they have like some promotions and things like that. Um, and yeah, like that would be pretty much it. That's like all I would reward myself in pretty much because it's just studying. 
and I know I have to do it especially before finals week so having those like little rewards for Starbucks well, I will buy like little containers that were like nine ten dollars uh, because I liked it so after like a really good efficient week of studying then I would buy that it's like ten dollars so and that would like promote myself to do better the following week because I'll be like if I study now instead of studying I don't know four or five hours a day let's just say I study now eight hours a day for six days a week and now I can buy like this other container that's like twenty five dollars from Starbucks or whatever um, or buy like a special a hoodie or something that I that I saw so those would be like the little things I would do to myself but it would be like a really good reward after like a really good studying time so all those things really helped me and these are the four things pretty much that helped me overall in my stress levels um, every day I would wake up anxious because I do have a, a, a friend who is a doctor in, in Mexico and I would I would talk to him a lot and I still do and I would message him like I, I wake up like you know feeling weird like you know very scared or things like I it's just whenever I wake up you know for like the first two or three minutes and then it's just gone but I'm like I like you know I feel like shortness of breath and like you know I feel like I'm lost and and he'll be like that's call anxiety <laughs> it's like but but it's like in you know, a mild level for you because just like for two three minutes and you justify yourself with stoicism and things like that so it just goes away but I, I was like damn like it feels really weird because before like in first semester I didn't feel like that at all but in second maybe because it was like um, uh, like farm pharmacology finals and an OB final and then like some ATI finals that we had to take and things like that you know it kind of like I don't know maybe gave me a little more stress than usual um, but yeah so it's normal if you wake up like anxious but just try to like justify on how you shouldn't be feeling like that so practice stoicism on that and that is gonna fade away um, but now it's finally over and every day I would remember like Joel like after the 10th of June you're free you're free you're gonna be free you're gonna be so bored because you're not gonna be doing anything regarding school so you're finally gonna be able to sleep a lot and like don't have alarms or anything anymore so I was really hoping for that and I'm actually gonna do a video about that type of mentality like whenever it's finals week and you're so close to the finish line but like you feel you want to give up and things like that you know there are some books I have read uh, so far that they do tell you like you actually do better when it's close to the finish line because you can see the finish line you know it's there so you are gonna give like 10% more than usual because you can see the finish line um, so yeah I, I'm pretty much gonna do a video on that because when I read it, I was like oh that's actually pretty good and it's pretty accurate so yeah, if you guys took here until the end of this video, thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys into the next video. Bye bye.